train. It does sound like a train. Hey everybody, I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes and thanks for viewing in. Today's, today's Friday? Today's Friday, I thought it was Saturday all day. Yeah. Why, Amanda? Because I didn't, you know, I don't know. Amanda's been resting. <laughs> good, good she has. Um, look, can you tell I've been... Yes. Paint, speckles, no, everywhere. No, I've not done a thing today. Yeah. I was rolling paint and it just big old glob. Just I could feel it. Is it on my neck? Yeah. Feel it. Glob. Look. We work around here at ITH is what we do. <laughs> everybody, we have... Um, I hope I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. This is... Okay, let me start date this thing. Because, you know, 40 years from now, somebody's going to tune into this thing. And, oh, my God, what's the date? Of course, they do put it on YouTube, don't they? They do, yeah. 14 years ago. All right. Today's the 29th. 29th of November? Yes. 2019. 1919. Mm -hmm. 1919. Listen to me. It 20, is. 29. What it, no, 29. 29. Oh, God. Wait. 2019. We don't know what today is. I think we're just a little tad tired. Oh, gosh. 2019. We worked all day. It was awesome. We had a good crew today. Um, we had a house that we needed to paint, of course, as you can see. We painted and urethaned it and stuff. I wanted to show you tonight, but we just finished up. We got to clean it up really well. And uh, maybe maybe we'll tear some paper off tonight and show you what we did. It was a big house. It was 12 by 36. It really wasn't a tiny home, um, but we've got it ready to go. And um, But I wanted to show you tonight, and, I, and if you're watching and you've been trying to design your tiny home, I made a little sketch there, but I want to show you some how I design a tiny home and how the maybe the the main things that i think about in designing a tiny house mm -hmm. all right first thing i always think about now that's why i like our website and it's it's going to get better and better as we go but i like our website because the first thing we think about is money how much money you got mm -hmm. all right so if i was looking for a tiny home i would straight and just look across every builder i could think of and find out where is their where's their base price and what does that base price include right so if you stumbled across ith incredible tiny homes you're going to be able to see that we start up fifteen thousand dollars for a 16 foot home now you can go anywhere in the country and then you try to compare apples for apples say okay how am i going to do apples for apples right well the only way you can do it sitting on your couch is to do it by looking at pictures videos right and in their and how they and how they list what's involved or what's included in their price so we try to do a ton of videos just like you see tonight we didn't do one yesterday but we every almost every day we put a video out there we try to walk through these homes and I'm doing it and I know I'm redundant I go over and over and over be, be, but because it gives you a real good look of how these homes are built and what's included and that way you can go to other builders and you can compare and hey if they've got a better product at a better price go to it you know and if i knew of somebody i would actually say hey man you're doing a great job we got to compete with this guy you know so but the first thing is your budget budget will dictate di dictate the size right of your home not only the size but your amenities but inside of our homes we we include everything in our base price on the, we have we have an RJO, we have a Freedom, which was a, is, is a souped up RJO, and RJO means Randy Jones original, that's my name everybody. And then we have one over here called the Craftsman, right? And, Quick. and three. Can it help, if, if, because you're taller than the thing, and it's kind of like, if you would sit, Amanda, but it's sit very, it? But it's very appealing. No, it's, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I could do it down like that, like all us girls, how we take our pictures. Like, I'm tucking my cheeks. <laughs> what do you want me? I'm, I'm trying to catch you. want me to come on my knees? No, sit in the chair. Oh, Can yeah. In the chair. Man, the heat is rolling in this It's place. hot in here. I'm going to open up a window. Where is Thurstad? Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Man, it is cold. But it is like. It is right here. There we go. Good God. Lord help. Lord help. <laughs> Lord help. Help me. And I got my foot on and I'm like, I'm burning down. <laughs> Shoot. Burn it down, buddy. Jason Aldean. 
yeah, hunt it down. Burn it down. Hey, he's coming to. Uh, he's coming to uh, Tom Owen. I want to see this now. <gasps> we'll go. You're asking to go. That's no, awesome. I didn't, I didn't say. Oh well, yay! We're gonna go see Jason LD. Yay! I'm so excited. No, Lucy. No. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Thank you, Brandy. Uh, I'll be out of town. Oh, what a sweetie. Okay, back to business. <laughs> We have an RJO, we have a Freedom Craftsman. Now, I'm not doing this to, mm -hmm. all right, detail things. I don't think about, about all the little of that. Now, I got a big space, open spaces I can get in a home because it will make it feel bigger in a house. Question. They said spinning. Okay, how, how is it now? I just took it off the... Here's some metal. We've added more metal. Let's see how it's doing that. What's it like now? Uh, Deborah said horrible. Uh, locked up. Freezing up. Back now, Maria says. Okay, better some. So Deborah's out of luck and everybody else is good. Let's see. Choppy. May not do good. So, go inside the shop. Back now. Hang on. Leslie said, back now. Okay, now. Restart, family. It's better now. Good here. Good. Because I went off the Wi-Fi better. Hi, Maria. Okay, so I think... Let's see. Better, better, good. Okay. I think we're back on. Oh, and Alyssa just texted. Hey, Alyssa. She said, you're uh, uh, going good now. Perfect. Our okay. Alyssa? Yes, our Alyssa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, Amanda. What? What what uh what did you do for Thanksgiving yesterday? <laughs> Listen, but it, <laughs> Mandy called me up. She said, "Come on over. We'll experiment on a vegan Thanksgiving." Yes. I thought, yeah, Mandy's a good cook. All right, yeah. she'll cook up something really cool. So I get over there. She says, "Bring your big Vitamix, you know." Yeah. And uh, that other cook cock cook cock pock. So, what is it called? Hot pot? The, uh, no, uh, yeah. instant pot. Instant pot. Took instant it over pot. there. So anyway, so we're trying to make this cheese sauce out of cashews, right? And there was 11 ingredients in this thing. Yes, All right. Was. And all my Vitamix, it has a, I mean, turbo where you could grind up a squirrel. And then you got this low turbo, right? Yeah. So we're in there putting, and we got to turn it off and on, off and on, off and on, off and on. And Add it was potatoes and onions and... Carrots and mustard and spices. Cashews. Cashews. And we put garlic. We put all kinds of stuff to make this cheese sauce. Deciduous yeast. Which was really uh, nutritional. Oh. <laughs> nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast. Oh, my God. Yeah. And we, it was so good. Well, right in the middle of that thing, it was turning yellow, and it was thick, and it was good, and it was big, and it was like that. And Amanda said, well, and I told her, I said, it's not spinning. It was so thick, it was like peanut butter, right? Yes. So I took the lid off, and Amanda pours milk in there, so I'm going to thin it out. Almond milk. Almond milk. She pours m almond milk in there, and <laughs> right in the middle of it all, I just turned it on, and it was on a high-speed turbo. That thing hit the ceiling. It exploded. It, went... <laughs> <laughs> it was all sauce. over our face, all over our clothes. It was everywhere. everywhere. And I went, wham, turned it off. We saved half of it. Oh, it's frozen again. Gosh. What are we going to do? we got to go where the router is. Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. All right, let's try There it. might be a light out here. All right. We shouldn't have added metal to the building. <laughs> exactly. And you're back, Alyssa. And we're back. And we're back. And look. Where? I can't see. Hey, I, I got a house over here. What? Oh. Where are you? Come here, Amanda. Just walk to my come voice. Come where? Come to my voice, Amanda. Keep, are you serious? Yeah, come on. Don't look I at can't. the screen. I'm Hold not. The... I'm looking into the door. No, just look at me. I'm... Okay. Yeah, there you go. What? What? Grab something of me. Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> come here. You're stupid. Well, whoever was tuned in is tuned out. <laughs> oh, everybody's quit watching. This is crazy. Well, I wouldn't bit. watch this. We'll do it first. Randy, how do you know if there's nothing in the... Oh! Do you see what I'm saying? I see everything. Quit dragging me. Look, over here. What are you dragging?
track any people. Well, so I'll I don't hit cord. nothing. I'll, if I'll hit, my toes will hit it first. All right. I'm wondering, hey, let's do it over there in the, in the light. Hey. Hey, that's right. Randy, Randy just said, hey, let's do it over there in the lot. Yeah, that's, uh, the lot is where we're going. Mandy, go to the lot. Go to the lot, Mandy. God, this is so stupid. Go to the lot, mm. Mandy. Can, all right, now, are we spinning? All right, what's it like now? Why do we ever now? do anything? I don't know why we do anything. Okay. Okay, the lot is good. Now, Alyssa said thumbs up. Thumbs up, everybody. Okay. All right, let's start this party over. Party on, Wayne. You want your coat on? Uh, no, I was so hot in there. Okay, I gotta cool off, shoot. Okay. All right, we're good. So everything's, we're okay. good. We have a router right over here up in the ceiling. Shoots out through the plexiglass. It goes out in the parking lot. <laughs> Where nobody's <laughs> Where nobody is. <laughs> where we're not filming. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the Wi-Fi is always where we're not filming. Yeah. Okay. I am hot. I think I'm having a hot flight. Oh. <laughs> You're all red. I told you I'm hot. Oh my god. Shoot. Poor thing. Oh god. I need to be euthanized. <laughs> Put me down. All right. Okay, now. More cashew butter. <laughs> we went exploded everywhere. So just if anybody missed it. Yeah. I didn't realize that, Randy didn't realize that the uh, that Vitamix was on high. And I definitely don't use a blender hardly ever. So I poured almond milk in the top and it exploded. Everywhere. Every, it went all over Randy's shirt. It went in the floor. It went in the ceiling. It was all over the counter. And then we made uh, made a lentil loaf. <laughs> listen, you know what I told Alyssa this morning? Listen, I told Alyssa, she said, how did your vegan Thanksgiving go? And I said, well, it went good. I said, salt. I said, but <laughs> salt was the main ingredient yesterday, okay? And I told Alyssa, I said, well, the lentil loaf was missing something like meat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, and the lentil loaf looked like, looked like uh, fruit cake. It did look like a fruitcake. There was cake. so much stuff in that thing. It sounded awesome, but we well, messed up it, on the you, seasoning. Well, what we did is we dumped a bunch of cheese sauce on it, and it was good. <laughs> all right, back to some floor plans, Amanda. <laughs> exactly. we, people don't want to talk about all that. All right, so what yes. I do is I always think about money. How much money do I want to spend on a tiny house? Yes. And the net detects, dictates what size home I'm going to get. Okay. Right? Now, unless you guys are going to build it yourself. And hopefully within a year, within the 2020 year, I'm hoping we can really get back into helping the DIY, okay? Mm -hmm. D DIY, do it yourself. Yes, DIY. Yeah. So we wanna make sure- Cut, You mean our workshops? Yeah, our workshops, mm -hmm. if not a full-blown workshop, um, clinics, mm -hmm. somehow a curriculum, everything. I've got a lot, we really, I really wanna get into that, really help everybody learn how to build your own tiny house. Yes. If not, learn how to build your own. You got a really good knowledge of how to build one, what to do, come here, hands on. May not build your own like we used to, may, may do it. So anyway, that's what I like to get into. Okay. But, so let's say, you know, it's really hard for me to, to get into the money because there's no one in the country building for a $15,000 house. Is. No. So what I like to do is show you guys, let's just say, you know, most homes are going to be in a, in a rectangle form. If you guys are thinking about doing a fifth wheel like that, I only do a fifth wheel if we're going to travel a lot like an RV. There is no reason ever to build a fifth wheel because this space right here, you it's must, gone. yeah, it's gone. Just put a hitch on it and do it if you're not well, going to travel. Well, let me ask you, why do people think fifth wheel well, has more a lot room? of them think, and what we do is we take this floor and we lower it down to here. And a lot of people think because they want a bedroom up here, they think they have to have a fifth wheel. Okay. So, and then you put steps down like this. Well, go ahead and just do that and make the trailer or the home like a box instead of a fifth wheel. That way this can be used for storage. It can be outside um, storage. This is almost like a reverse loft. Yeah. Now, you can even have a bed mm -hmm. down here if you want, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Because we can make this ceiling 
seven foot tall in a fifth wheel or a reverse loft, okay? So, not to confuse everybody with that. I'm just out there talking. We're in our multi-million dollar facility here in Newport, Tennessee. All right, so there's three different ways, three or four different ways that you can just design. The first thing, we have to have a bathroom. So I'm thinking, I want my bathroom with a closet, washer and dryer. What do I want? Do I want a bathtub, the amenities inside that bathroom? So the first thing we want is the bathroom, right? Also, do you want to sleep downstairs or upstairs? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's your bedroom. If you're gonna sleep downstairs, now you got two options. Either you go long, right? Or you make one room multifunctional where it's a living room bedroom. It's the only choice you got, right? Because if you go, <clears throat> if you're gonna go upstairs, that means you're in a loft re or a reverse loft, right? You're gonna have stairs. And if you have stairs, then that's gonna fill up the room full of stuff. And you don't, wanna li you don't want stairs in your living room. So bathroom, what do you want? Bedroom, where do you want it, right? Mm -hmm. And then of course, <clears throat> your kitchen. Now you can see how everything is done down here and what do we leave for last is the living room. Now the reason I've come up with years ago, I mean I keep bouncing around, but I used to do this. I used to put the kitchen on one end. I used to put the bathroom on the other end. All right? Yeah. And the reason I did that is because every tiny home that I'd ever seen and hadn't been in one before, is their bathrooms like RVs. They were so small. You had to get outside the bathroom to get dressed. Mm -hmm. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make our bathrooms bigger. And if you do that, that means you're coming in on your door. Your door's gonna be on the side, right? And I'll show you why I chose those two locations for a door. But when you come into that bathroom, I always came in the middle. Mm -hmm. So when you come in in the middle there, you're gonna have a shower or you can have a tub, right? On one side. Over here, you're gonna have your toilet. I always, now we came up with these vanities and they're really small. They're a pain in the butt when you wanna brush your teeth or curl your hair, cause there's no, there's no countertop for it. Right. But you can really mm. wash your hands and brush your teeth, so really what you can. Mm -hmm. But if you want a toilet here, then you can actually have washer dryer or a small washer and dryer, you know, that's under the counter. The, uh, the combo. combo. Mm -hmm. And you can have a closet above it. Mm -hmm. So now look at this, this bathroom is packed full of everything and you got to have a five foot bathroom if you want a tub now you can make them 48 but the reason i want to go five is because you when you got a toilet and a washer and dryer that washer and dryer is 24 inches and your toilet you want if you can get 36 that's perfect but we hardly ever get that so if you go about 30 36 that's five feet right if you don't have a tub here and you just want to shower the shower is 36 inches which gives you two foot closet right there yeah so it's great so if you want to do that but if you do that you got five feet here now you got two foot for your kitchen if you've got seven all together that leaves nine foot if this is a 16 foot home that's what we leave in the rjo and let me point that out to you really quick the rjo has a kitchen bathroom and we got nine feet from here to here let me show you how it flows a little bit different. On an RJO, the door is at the end. Here's your kitchen, you got your fridge, your countertop, this is your shower, and this is your toilet. And you can put a sink there if you want it. But now you got nine feet that's uninhibited by any kind of door, traffic, or anything. Now on this right here, we still have to get in the house. Yes. So normally I put a door in the traffic area which is you're gonna stand here and cook. All along the front of that, you're gonna cook. Mm -hmm. So I put my door up against my, my kitchen, mm -hmm. right? Now, if I wanna do that, then I've, I've got three feet. That leaves me six feet between here and that wall. I could maybe put a sofa, right? Mm -hmm. But you don't want stairs here because now if I got stairs going up here, I've only got about 40 inches between my face right here yes. and them stairs and it is a terrible living room. and we do have customers who who chose that and that's specifically. great but you've lost your living room you have it is mm -hmm. just really bad so and your flow of traffic is going here we used to build them like this and you put a sofa but not with stairs 
Now, if yeah, you just have a right. ladder here, you're going up, you got a five foot loft up here. That's why I say right here, go to your bedroom. Where do you want it? You want it up or down? Right. Now, if you want it up or down, you don't want, your, you, you don't want this configuration mm -hmm. because if you have this sleeper and you got to go out, now you can't get into your bathroom. Right. That's why I fell in love with the RJO. The only thing it has a couple things that this one don't have. The bathroom doesn't have room for a washer and dryer, a closet. You know, it mm -hmm. doesn't have those amenities. So in this bathroom, you have a toilet, shower, and sink. You can still get dressed in here, mm -hmm. but the majority, you'd have to put a closet here, right? On the outside, which impedes, but there's no door. So I can actually put furniture all along this wall, all along this wall, mm -hmm. and all along this wall. And I think that if I was to do an RJO, I think I would have a smaller shower. 36, I mean, it's a big shower. Well, these are 32s in here. They're 32s, okay. A, yep, yeah, these are so 32 not 36. inches. Okay. Yeah. 32. And we used to always go 36 because I was proud of it. You don't mm -hmm. want to put a big shower in these houses. Well, RJOs didn't, wouldn't allow it. Right. So 32s are really, I mean, I'm not a really big guy, but 32s have been fine. They have been. You know, they've worked out mm -hmm. really well. But that's, so right now, so I'm able to, if I had a Murphy bed in here, let's say I had a Murphy bed right here, right? That Murphy bed can fold out because this is nine feet. It can fold out. I still got three feet to walk through the middle of the night. Right. It's a sleeping area and a living room area. Fold mm -hmm. it up, you got a living room, right? Now, if you don't want your living room to be a bedroom, and this is, let's say that's 16 feet. If you go out four more feet and make it a 20 footer, yeah, you actually got room for a twin size bed. That's what somebody else just said 20 foot. Mm-hmm. Well, 20 and then if you go 24 like Brian and Mary did yes I mean that's it's just, a lot it's just so much I've space. always said 24 foot after we've learned so much mm -hmm. is just such a nice size yeah. home you know but here you got that now if you go out um 24 which is eight feet I mean they've got a full bed yeah at the whole end of the house I know I'm scribbling on here you know but it always depends on your on your budget right so think about this a 20 foot home can give you a complete twin size bed, right? A complete living room, kitchen, and your uh, bathroom, and you can put a closet, washer and dryer on the end and still have all this room. 20 foot home for $20,000. Yeah, amazing. That's crazy, everybody. Spray foamed, everything. Now it doesn't have a mini split. 2,500 bucks will put a mini split, or you can just run a little heater. With that spray foam, a little heater, a little window air conditioning unit. Oh my goodness. So for 20 grand, you're good. And let's say in three years from now, you want a mini, you want a mini split. We put a wire up there that you can add it anytime. So I'm talking about budget. This $20,000 $20, for a 20 foot, listen, any competitor watching this, he just turned me off because he's laughing. He yeah. goes, oh my God, that right. You're gonna build a house for 20,000. Good luck staying in business, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's just the way it is because <laughs> we're going to show you that we can so in the bathroom as you can see we did the bathroom the bedroom is it by itself if it's going to be by itself all right think about this if you want to do a bedroom let's do this let's say hey i want a big bathroom and i want a big bedroom and i want to eat all my cookies too so you go across <laughs> and let's see what happens so we got to come across at least i want a bathtub i want a toilet mm -hmm. And I want, um, if you want a vanity, you want a real, real vanity, then as you can see, this is five feet because a, usually a tub shower is five foot. Yeah. You're not getting a closet in there. So if you want to go in a nice bathroom, you're going to have to get maybe two more feet, right? Mm -hmm. And now you got a closet and you could actually put another closet and here. And that's what a few's talking about is they need a bathtub. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So now you're looking at about seven feet. Yeah. All right, and inside to inside is 89 inches, okay? Inside to inside. That's actually about as big as a residential bath. The bathroom that you've got, the one I was born and raised mm -hmm. in, was five by eight. Yeah. Five foot by eight foot. Every mm -hmm. bathroom, residential, you know, blue collar home, had a tub shower in it, it's five foot tub. Is that what mine is? Yeah. Five by eight, five. okay. So this bathroom is two foot bigger than your bathroom in your is home. Is that right? Yeah. Really? So I then let's bathroom. say, hey, I want that. And let's say I want a bedroom. Mm. 
Well, a lot of people say, I want to walk around my bed. Mm -hmm. Well, you only got 89 inches. Yeah. Right? Inside to inside. Well, a queen bed is 60 inches. Okay. Okay. So that leaves me 19 inches to split in half, right? And I'm only going to have about nine inches on each side of my bed. You can't walk around that. That's true. Right. So your bed's going to have to be up against the wall. Yeah. And some people don't like it. Some people do. Now, yeah. if you don't like it, I don't know how you can not like it if you don't have the money. Yeah. Okay. Right. But if you got the that's money. A that's a great point. Go up to nine foot. Go to 10 foot wide. Mm -hmm. Then you can walk around your bed. Mm -hmm. Right. But that's why I like a Murphy bed. Right. So if my bed is up against the wall, right, and it's five feet. Right, mm -hmm. and I can I can move it up or down, or I can have our sofa. You know, our sofa beds were like this, and you fold it open right. to a bed. So if you did that, you got five foot. So now we got seven. We got five. That's twelve. If this was a sixteen foot house, you only got four more feet for yeah. a kitchen, and that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, right. All right, you don't have room for it. So you've just because you want a bedroom, because you want a seven foot bathroom, you cannot go with a sixteen foot home. Right, right. And you got to get in the house. Yes. You got to have a door. So think about this. Where's the door going to go? The door would be, and this is how big On the, the door would be. Yep. Because it's, you only got four foot here. Mm-hmm. So that's, so you can see how that design just doesn't work. Yes. But if you take this and do like an RJO, that's why I always came up with it. You do your kitchen, your bath, you walk here, here's your door. Now you got this whole living room area. Mm-hmm. Right? So well, it, it's, well, the thing is, too, is honestly, everything is just ruled by your budget. The whole thing's ruled by your budget. It's like wants, needs, whatever, but you've got to be able to match your budget with what you're, you're going to get. So if you want a bigger bathroom, you know, you've got to sacrifice. You've got to have a kitchen, a door, and all that stuff. So Yeah, and that's why if you, I don't know where you're going to go and get a house for 20 grand. I, I mean, you're just not going to do anywhere in this country. No. Um, but if you did, and let's say you're just designing it, you're going to build it yourself. You've got to think about your bathroom. Mm -hmm. What do you want in that bathroom? Because it's taking up space, yes. man. Do you want washer and dryers? Do you want closets in it? Mm -hmm. The next thing is that bedroom. Where are you going to sleep? Yeah. The majority of people that we, we've been selling to do not want to go in the loft. Right, right. They I don't want to get up in the middle of the night, go down steps or a ladder or anything, right? Mm -hmm. They don't want to do it. I don't blame them. So that means your bedroom's down. And, <coughs> excuse me. And if you don't go with a 24 foot home, it's really hard to have a full bedroom, mm -hmm. living room, kitchen, and bathroom. Now, if you do not do an RJO floor plan, as you just seen, it's almost impossible to have a good living room, right? Even on a 24 footer. Because mm -hmm. if you go seven here, that means your kitchen's probably gonna have to be here because you gotta have a bedroom here. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So you got seven, your kitchen's gonna be at least six foot and six foot, split your kitchen. And a lot of people say, well, I don't want my bat, my kitchen near my bathroom. Yeah. I don't know why, because only seven more I'm feet not, is your yeah. kitchen. Mm -hmm. But now you've got 13 feet, right? Mm -hmm. And that gives us what, 11 feet for a 24? Yeah, so we got 11 feet now between here and here, but we still gotta get in the house. Here's your door to get in the side. And let me answer this lady really quick because because uh, I know she's watching along. It says, Amanda, how big was Winter Haven? Winter Haven, if you'll remember, was... Um, yeah, 18. Wasn't that Joe's house? The bed left it up the, and down. Was that the bed that lifted up and down, Beth? If it was, it was... It was small. 16, wasn't it 16 or 18? 16 or 18 feet. I think he was 18. But see, he had stairs that went up. He did have stairs. Had a massive tight kitchen. Yes. And he, he had, had a living room. Dry. He had everything. He had a living room, but mm -hmm. the bed went up and down and elevated on it. And it had that art bark inside the living mm -hmm. room. That's true. It was really packed. But he had, you know, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah that was it, she said. Yeah. Yeah. That's Joe's. Yeah. Okay. That door you came in here. Yes. Um, here. Here was his kitchen. Mm -hmm. He had steps. And they were, they were tight, man. They were steep. The yeah. steps went up. He had a loft, mm -hmm. he had a bathroom, mm -hmm. right? And this was his living room with an elevated up and down bedroom. Which I thought was, I loved his little house. Yeah, it was It was just this space right here, this countertop mm -hmm. and them steps, you couldn't pass two and people And he had a, a washer dryer combo under the stairs. Under, the, under here, mm -hmm. washer and dryer. Now you can pack them. He had a stove. He had a stove too. Yeah, it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah. 
Um, I thought it was over here. Maybe I'm getting it wrong. I thought he had either, a stove. Either way, yeah. I remember we had to put that in. Mm -hmm. um, but it was super tight. And what I'm finding as I'm living in tiny homes, yeah. and I've lived in, I bet you, what, four or five four now? Four or five now. In here. What I'm finding, what gets to me yes. after a while is just having not enough room. Yeah. I don't like the transformer tiny home. Mm -hmm. I remember Anna White. And everybody likes Anna White. I liked her design. She's cool up in Alaska. I remember she had a washer and dryer that was under the kitchen countertops. You pulled it up, flipped it up, pulled it up, pulled it over here, hook it up, wash your clothes, put it back. Yet, and he even had a, a sliding closet in the shower that pulled back and forth and put it away. I just think I know after time I'm gonna get tired of that. Yes. You know, um, even flip up tables. I didn't like the flip up table. Mm -hmm. I just want a table there. Yeah. To eat at. Mm -hmm. And normally now I'm finding is I like a snack bar. You know, my countertop. Yeah. So in the long run of things. What's making me feel not claustrophobic and feeling good and, and a, not having the big craftsman style home is a living room. Mm -hmm. And I can have four and five people over for hours and nobody feels claustrophobic. Right. And that's rare. Most of your tiny homes, even these great big ones, they don't design them around a living room. Right. Now, because it's a living room, it's multifunctional as a bedroom, unless it's a 24 foot home, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about a 16 foot home. And then the bathroom doesn't accommodate a tub. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. That's why I've got the bathroom up here at almost number one, the bedroom at number two. Right. Is it going to be upstairs, upstairs, or downstairs? And that dictates everything. Oh, and somebody asked a, 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 a way few comments ago, can you do a bathroom upstairs? We have. Mm -hmm. We have. We um, We did just the one. Was it um, River Bend? Right over here, yep. Mm -hmm. She's got a bathroom upstairs, and you got a, you got a crunch to it, mm -hmm. but she doesn't have to go downstairs in the middle of the night. Right. Um, you can do a reverse loft and do all that stuff, but, I mean, you know, we'll put anything. One design, I think, that you'll have steps, mm -hmm. and that's the only bad thing, but they're very comfortable steps if you do it like this. Mm-hmm. And you all have seen these before, but I, and let me try to draw it. It's like, um, how do I want Real to quick, this? Jessica wants to know, what is a reverse loft? A reverse loft is, let's say you got about 11 feet from here to here. Mm -hmm. Normally our lofts you have here, they're about 80 inches, right? Headroom. What we do is we, we reverse that and we put the 80 inches up top and this is this can be a bed here mm -hmm. so, so that's the reverse the upstairs and you put a steps down yeah. upstairs is your living room downstairs is a bedroom sleep. we've done quite a few of those yeah now the one thing that i really like if you want a bed bedroom up and let's say you can do stairs if the stairs are not a ladder the stairs are not steep and they work out really well all right we're going to put the 80 Unless that's 80 inches, right? Locked. And then your bed sits right here. Okay, here's your bed. Mm -hmm. So from here to here, on a Craftsman, it's about 52 inches. Yeah. On a, on a Freedom and an RJO, you only got about 40. Okay? Mm -hmm. So what, I, what I've seen, and I've, I've done a few of them, I think they're a really good idea, is you your steps, okay, as they go up, stop them right there instead of going all the way up you stop and you build a floor inside mm -hmm. and so now you can stand up right here yeah and you can just sit on your bed yeah you've always talked about that now this i mean i'm going to turn it i'm going to draw it from looking in this way yes all right so now we're looking this way so what it is is your loft this is your bed and it goes down like this. So this is your bed, and this is where you stand. Yes, right. And then you just got about three or four steps to go down. Mm -hmm. So underneath here, you could, depending on the height of this, how, how you want to do it, you could put your toilet in the, you know, here you could sit on, because you don't have to stand here. You yes. can sit on your toilet or put closets. Let me, let me uh, I know I'm, it's hard to see. That's another <laughs> visual. Um, so let's say your loft is here 
and you got your steps going up, right? So you can underneath here, you're looking down at it from a helicopter, but let's say this is your bathroom under mm -hmm. your bedroom. Well, you have to have your shower here. You could put your, your toilet here mm -hmm. in a closet, right? And then you could put a vanity. Okay. And this height, this headroom is right here. So you only got about probably maybe five feet of headroom mm -hmm. on, above your toilet in your closet. Over here is your, is your shower. Yeah. So that way you'll still only have about five or six steps, but they can be really good. You can have a handrail. They'll flow just like a normal home that you're living in right now that has steps. And uh, Dana asked real quick, do you remember, of course you'll remember this, but um, the hummingbird over there on, um, um, yeah, you yeah. know, it's on the, what river is it? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Um, Yep. wherever it's at can she wanted to know can you do that roof line mm -hmm. on the rjo wasn't that a dormer it was like um it was like this wasn't it it wouldn't er, er, like well, that all right see this dormer? Shenandoah, yes thank you Shenandoah. Maria. all right yeah Remember, Dana. all right see this right here kim that's a dormer yes mm -hmm. so i think what we did on theirs and this is how i used to do them it was like a thing wouldn't it I think the back of it was longer. Yeah. It just it was, went straight up and it had a roof line like that. Yeah. And so it's this back here was a craftsman mm -hmm. and this up here is a freedom. Okay. Now the only reason I don't do that is because aesthetically, this is just a real long line. Now it gives you more room inside Yeah. and you can put a window up here, but you don't have this break right yeah. here mm -hmm. of roof line and it doesn't look as homey it it almost looks caboose right right yeah i see right could, <clears throat> could you do that oh, i do them all the time okay so it would know. be fine yes yeah, so that yeah, yeah. we just so, don't yes. what we do now is we you know they they look really look cottagey. oh yeah they look super cottagey when you just this little bit of line right here we leave about eight inches to put roof line on there yes and it looks it makes it look so much more cottagey mm -hmm. yeah Okay, so, but so the answer is yes, though you can't do it. Lena. So, but is a an RJO trailer strong enough for that? Um, yeah, I'd have to weigh it out, but it depends on how big that is and how much of the space it is and yeah. how much you're doing. Now, remember an RJO, everybody. If let's say we take the trailer, I'm gonna try to draw a trailer. It's built like this, the frame, right? And you got leaf springs. Yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now the RJO, um, from top, and then we put, see, then we put floor joists mm -hmm. on top of this, right. right? And they run across the trailer, right? Right, All the way across. So from the top of that floor joist to the ground, right, is about 30 inches, mm -hmm. um, maybe even 32. When we do an, when we, that's, that's an RJO or Freedom. And how it is, it's designed, it's got two big I-beams right here and here. And it's got these cross members, and then we put our floor joists across these cross members, and our floor joists is actually cantilever over. Yeah. We're actually sitting on one right here. So see this? So here's your trailer, and here's yeah. your cantilever. So the whole house is wider than the trailer. Okay. Now these trailers, are super strong, but what makes a strong trailer is the thickness in these I beams. Because when we're at a five, when we're at a sixteen, we use a five-inch beam. Mm -hmm. When we go bigger, we go a six-inch, seven-inch, eight-inch beam. Right. And then if you go heavier, you can go a heavier axle. The thing about the thing about the Craftsman that makes it so unique and so awesome, and that's why they cost money, is because these axles are like this. They have drop axles, all right? Yeah. Normally an axle is just straight. This has a drop axle. You get four more inches. Right. Okay. Then the steel is built right here, right? And we build, our plywood is right there. Mm -hmm. And then we insulate inside all that. So you've gained one foot of right. headroom. That's versus a lot. Versus yeah. 12 inches of headroom. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. First thing we want to know is your budget. Second thing we want to know, where are you going to sleep? Right, exactly. Up or down. Mm -hmm. If you got to have a tall headroom, you got to have it up there in the bathroom, you mm -hmm. got to go with the craftsman, you know? But if you don't have the money, right? 
go with the go with the uh, RJ or free. Exactly. All right. That's right. I hope yeah. it helped everybody. Yeah. Um, but it's very simple. I actually I actually want people when you order a home from us, you're saying, you know, I want a house, but I'm thinking I want the, my kitchen here, my bedroom here, whatever I want. This is all I want you to do. I actually I'm, I'm, I'm over exaggerating, but I want you to take all right, a crayon, just like that, right? Mm -hmm. And I want you to say, just because you don't know size, you don't know anything about it, but you're in your head, you think, you know what? Let's see. I know I want my, let's see, I don't want my kitchen here, right? And I know I want my bathroom here. And then you think, hey, I want some steps because I want a loft above my bathroom. Mm -hmm. I want some steps. I don't, you don't have to tell me how big. Right. And then over here, you have a wish list. And on that wish list, you're going to say, I want a tub. You're going to say, I want a vanity. Right? You're going to say, I want, um, I want a big kitchen. You know? I mm -hmm. want a farm-style sink. All these wish lists. Yeah. So then what we do mm -hmm. as, as we draw your home, we'll take these things. First, I'll price it with your wish list and everything. Right. But then after we priced it and you agree on the price, I'll take these wish lists and I'll try to apply them to your home. Because mm -hmm. we now that tub dictates the size of that bathroom. That's right. That vanity tells me you got to have it in your bathroom. That's going to eliminate probably a closet. And then you've got your, um, in your kitchen, you're going to tell me you want a big kitchen. So that means you're going to want a sink, probably a stove, what kind of appliances, everything mm -hmm. on it. So now we've got two big rooms that are gone. Mm -hmm. And you told me you sleep up or down. Right. Done. We've designed 90% of your home. Right. I really don't want to get into, and we can. Hey, I've got some antique knick knickknacks that I want my armoire here, and I want built in shelving, and I want my plug three inches from the light switch, and I want to come over here. And I'm, you start doing that, it's going to cost you money. Yeah. And we love doing that. We love building them for you. Mm -hmm. But 95% of our customers love these RJOs, or they like this price range of $15,000. Mm -hmm. Right, fifteen right. to about thirty-five grand. Right. All right. If you're inside that fifteen to thirty-five, you are not in the market for customized shelving and doors and drawers and painting and, sh and slacking. But we can build you the Taj Mahal. Right. As you guys know, we will build it for you. But the majority of folks are just needing to get into some shelter. Mm -hmm. So, I hope that helped you all in the designing of your home. They did. They said it did. Yeah. Cost, it was to take size. Mm -hmm. After you got those two down, bedroom up or down, kitchen, bathroom, then you just work with it. My, when I think, and I'm, I'm probably, you know, me being a guy does different things because in a bathroom, and, and I, I don't, you know, every time I say a guy, I think I want to be sexist now. I'm gonna be, you know what? I don't think I am a guy. It, all right. Exactly. I go to the bathroom, I, I, can, I can go to the bathroom, I can take a shower and I come out. I'm not really that particular about things. So when I think about a home, my first thing of course is cost, right? Mm -hmm. And then I think of living room. Mm -hmm. And that's just my pet peeve, everybody. I want a living room because like right now my day is done. I do not want to walk sideways from my kitchen. All right. In, in, and then I want a remote control to raise my bed up. You know, if something happens that are, anything mechanical will break. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it will need work. Mm -hmm. So I try to keep anything that's transforming back and forth. The only thing that I would ever want that transforms is a Murphy bed or a sleeper sofa. Other than that, I want it the way it is because it will break over 20 years from now. Mm -hmm. It'll be need to be replaced, and you will get tired of flipping it up and down and folding it out. Right. I've done it, and that's just my experience, okay? So. And I want to... Um because they love the video and everything, I do want to show the, the house, the sinks. All right, let's go. If we can't, you can want we your see coat them? on? Yeah, let me get my coat on now. Yeah, let's go. I got to tear the paper off of the sink where we've been spraying. Okay. I don't mind doing that. Have they been asking? Yeah. There you go. Let me zip. I got to zip that. Now I'm cold. There she is. Show the glue on my coat. Look, you got glue. <laughs> this is now my shop coat. That's your shop coat. This is now the coat that will stay here all the time. All right. All right. Okay.
this go. Right. I've not got to see them installed yet. Hey, we can walk through our inventory room. Oh yeah, okay. So we have, an, we have an exit down there, we have an inventory room, and then we've got our spray foam booth over there. Thank now God. everybody, this is just built out of this stuff we've had around here. Yes. So in here, is our in, we may lose signal, but in here is our inventory. Now we're just starting to get it straightened out. So we're gonna only put in here what it takes to build homes. That's great. That's it. Oh, we're excited. Then in here, we don't have our lights up in here. Is this is going to be where UPS, FedEx, you send us things is going to go in here? Packages, yeah. In this door that used to go outside, I've got a 40 foot container parked up against the door. Yes. That's full of water heaters and everything. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut another hole here and put another 40 foot container here. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, the inventory room, it's coming along. Everybody remembers the inventory room at uh, Inca over there, the old shop. And this is the entryway. Well, the offices will be here. It's too dark now. So. I know. We can't see anything. Okay. All right. Now, let me go off the Wi-Fi. Hang on a second. Come on. It's motion oh. sensor. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah, right. I'm ready. Have I still got everybody? Here's the big 12 by 36. We built his steps, the porch, and everything here today. Yeah. Okay, you see porch, can you? Kind of All we have to do is clean things up now. Okay. No, they can't see the porch. It's okay. got French, French doors. And this Too. Okay, um, is it Shelly? Shelly has a question. Go ahead, Shelly. It is so huge in here. That is the bathroom. Huge. 12 by 36. Huge. There's the bedroom. I'm just going slow. From what everybody who was seen it for Judy said, what a transformation. Look well, we at do. this wooden sink. This is a this wooden is, farm style sink. Oh everybody. my god, a wooden farm style sink, and Rob made it. He sure did. Oh my. It is gorgeous. You see these little grooves? Can it's got you the see grooves them? in it. Yep. I'm in love with this sink. Everybody loves this sink. I gotta put it on. It's got little grooves in it. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, this wooden uh, farm style sink. All the way across countertop. Mm. 
We don't know yet. Janet said, how much extra for the sink? We don't know yet. We've not, we've not priced it. Is this he, not beautiful? He's got a lot of hours in these sinks. We just did this to do the prototype. Um, this is the first one. This is like the old porcelain sinks that yes. are all in one, the countertops and sinks. And so it's got grooves in here for the water to run down. Yes. So when mm -hmm. you do your dishes, it'll just run down. Can they see them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They okay. can see it. And they got them on the other side too. Yeah. And now let's look. I want you to show, see this drain. This drain is cut out to where it's flush with the bottom. Yeah. Okay. It's the beautiful. faucet. Look how it's done. Let me find out. Was Shelly, what was it? I must have missed her question already. Let's see. Because she was going to ask it again. What was your question? Um, with the platform bed is above your, let's see, your question is above, what does that mean? With the platform bed is above your something, well, yeah, ask it again, Shelly, because I'm not sure, if I don't understand that. Is that not gorgeous? So pretty. Goes with the white, big, huge kitchen. I like the contrast. Yeah. Of the wood in the white kitchen. And this big closet. Yeah. This is the this is whole kitchen here. area, man. Oh, no. So you got drawers. Now, it's not... Uh, Rob told me about this, uh, uh, Renata, on here. It's not shellac. He said shellac is, is old-fashioned. People don't do that anymore. He said... I mean, you can, but he said... He doesn't, and said that shellac is from shells. That's where they get the word shellac from. So it's from seashells. So he said they it breaks apart later on and stuff. So it's not something that people use anymore. He actually he's got about nine coats of polyurethane on this. He coated it. I tried to do it twice a day. Yes. And um, but he did it every night, and then, yep. This house was a deal. Somebody said, how much for the house? This was a, a unique deal. Yeah, it was. we sold it for $65. And um, the reason we did it was just a house is three years old. We built it three years ago. And we mm -hmm. had to transform it. The customer backed out of the house. And we gave them their money back, the deposit. And it was already built. It was already designed. The colors were already picked out. And so we needed to do we need to get rid of it. It'd been here and it too couldn't long. be sold for how it was designed or yeah, the, the colors they chose. It, it was, yeah, yeah, it was Our, very particular. Yeah, so we found is you know, a custom homes is really what we build for everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, yeah, we couldn't, we could not build and sell this house again for no. sixty five. Oh no, definitely not. This whole house. Well, let me show you the floors, everybody. Look here. I think you may have seen them before. I'd like to get to them. Put the king get to it. Here you go. It's all uh it's the whole house. The, the whole house, house is tile. Is that not gorgeous? And it's, it looks like wood, but it's all tile through the whole house. Yeah. And this is a this is a range hood vent. Yeah. Now, Amanda. Yes, let me sir. Show you the bathroom. Oh, you want to see the bathroom sink? Come on. That sink is so gorgeous. Okay. All right. Let me show you the bathroom sink. Yes. Now the tile in here. Same thing, isn't it? It's tiled all the way through the whole house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. And then, I forgot every time I showed this house, it was dark, remember? It was very dark. Somebody had just said that. Let me show you. This is the bedroom. At the end of the bed, that's what we're going to be looking at. There's their closets. Washing dryer comes there. Hey, look at this thing. Ready? Yeah. Look at that shower. The shower's gorgeous. Yep. Then. Got that blue. 
It's like that blue metallic brown. I like that. It's dirty. It's got like dust on it, stuff, but you get the idea. Got stone down here at the bottom. All this is dusty. It needs to be clean. Oh my goodness! Look at the sink. The bathroom sink is wood. Yes, ma'am. Rob made this too. We made it to fit. Now we're gonna cover up. We're gonna put a little cabinet and cover up the plumbing. Yeah. But that is in there. Look cool? at that. He made this too. A lot of hours. It's isn't that crazy? It's beautiful. And the reason. And it's butcher block. All of it's butcher block. All of it's butcher block. Oh. Just so everybody knows it's butcher block. So what he did is he took, look, he took rings of butcher block and he cut a circle out of them. And he made it kind of contour, contour yeah. back in the bottom. And then he's got a bottom and it's all glued on the bottom. See mm -hmm. that? And so the reason I, I had him design it like this shape is that it's not real deep, right? Yeah. So physically, you can walk from the toilet. See how much room there is? Yes. So it's 48 inches wide. So this only sticks out about 18 inches. So you still, you could get a walker, a wheelchair, mm -hmm. something. It's, yeah. It's not going to be tight on no. you. No. Also, you got room to put stuff on Just the side. something on there. Yes. Mm hmm Gorgeous. Isn't that neat? Mm-hmm. So, wood sink. We got wood bathroom sink. And we'll price kitchen, these so. out. We've not priced them out. we got to figure out the hours and... All that stuff. A lot of times, what I like to do is, is uh, I like to try new things, and if a customer will allow me to do it, you're, you're going to end up getting a whole lot better deal. Yeah. Because I like, now we have this to sell. Mm -hmm. It's a prototype. Now we have the farm style yeah. scent to sell. So I like doing different things, even though I can't do it on my house. You know? Right. And that's where a lot of builders, they put all their beautiful new designs in a model home. Mm -hmm. well, we can't afford to build a model home. Exactly, right. So let us use your house. Right. But it's great for marketing. It's killing two birds with one stone. Or as Lindsay had a French teacher, and he was very, you know, he was very kind and polite and all that stuff. He'd say, feed two birds with one seed. <laughs> That's how he would say it. Now, Lindsay's your daughter. Yeah, Lindsay's my daughter. Yeah, see, she's 27. She's the oldest. Isn't this cool? Everybody, it's a big old house. Look at that big. Let me walk all the way back in here. So this is the living room. There's two barn doors that go across here from yes. the bedroom. Mm -hmm. In the bedroom, there's a closet. Okay, they got their closet. They got their TV. They got storage up top. And this is where the washer and dryer goes. Yes. Right here. Yeah. Oh, and we're going to build just a, um, I think he said they're going to build like a little cabinet right there. Yeah. Go so those pipes won't be showing. Yeah. yeah. And all the doors, of course, are leaned up. Yeah, got them all right here. We'll put them on in the morning, clean everything up, take all the tape down. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I would love to have decorated it, but they're going to be here tomorrow. So I do not get to decorate this one. So here is the, the long awaited. Butcher block. Beautiful. Ah, farm style sink. Gorgeous. Very nice. We still got people watching there. Yeah, 204 people. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, 204 They want to know if that's the final look. They don't like that. Um, what that, what, look. See this here? Yeah. That's why I'm saying we had, we sold the house a little bit less than we'll, we would normally do because the walls were already colored, right? Yeah. And the owner said she doesn't know what she wants to paint. She wanted she didn't want it dark anymore. The ceilings were really dark, so we painted them really all dark. white. Mm -hmm. So right now, yeah, it's kind of was we may put a, an angle on it later on, but we just had to get this done for them. Right. And, um, it looks like it just sticks out, but there's room to grow. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, I've got. I'm trying to find Shelly's question. They said she re-asked it, so let me look here. Hang on. Man, just scrolling through the questions. I'm scrolling and scrolling because I was walking and looking and everything. So, um, Randy just did the drawing about the platform next to the bed. Is that possible with an RJO? 
Only with a dormer. Only with a dormer. Okay. And if you do... Good question. And if you do do that, then your bathroom is at one end of the house. Mm -hmm. The whole bathroom is under your loft. Okay? You can't split your kitchen bathroom up like that. All right? Right. So... And they're saying, love the color of the wood of the sink. What was the color of the wood? It was butcher block. In butcher block, we get different colors all the time. Yes. This is a little more darker color. Mm -hmm. Of course, we didn't stain it. All we did was urethane. Yes. And the darker it got because we got more coats of urethane on it. Mm -hmm. But it was a lighter color when we got it. Right. Yeah. And sometimes we'll get a dark color, a light color. It's just whatever, whatever they have at the shop. And the range hood is also a shelf, they're saying. Yeah, well, Use there's no shelf. open shelvings in here yet. Yes, yes. So we got to put open shelving in here. Yeah. All this stuff. It'll, it'll, when they get our appliances, this is a full size fridge that goes in here. Right. There's a lot that goes in here. Yeah, and decorations and stuff and all and that. And Laura so. is so excited because she's going to be here next week. She's next coming. Yes, sure mm -hmm. is. We got yep. a spot for her. Yep. We're all good. So. Uh, good question, Melinda. How often would you have to urethane that in the future? Don't we don't know anything yeah, about it? Yeah, don't know. He put what nine, tw nine, ten coats. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we really, we really don't know. You have to just watch it. You're gonna. Have, that's yeah. why we're saying, you know, we have we first one ever done. So we right. don't know if it'll break down in five years from now or ten or it'll be be great. You know. And you know what's great is it will be here in the community. So it's something that you know we can get. You know, our customers are really great about keeping us informed about anything that arises or something like that. If it's something that sure. needs to be changed or it worked out, they'll let us know. Mm -hmm. So good. Yeah, beautiful. So it is a chance because it's not been tested, tried, and proven. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. Let me show inside of it again. It's just so pretty. And that's all one piece, like right there. Like all this. Yeah, is this is all one countertop. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. and then he added, he added four sides and a bottom. That's okay. really essentially what he did. Okay. And then we had to hone this out and silicone and all that stuff. You know? Beautiful. Yeah. Well, it looks good with the quad, for sure. It does, don't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And you know, and we're still working with scheduling. I'm, I'm glad somebody brought this up. Um, Somebody, their uh, label, it's Black Pearl. If I put my order in for my tiny by the first of the year, could I have it by summer? And our schedule Definitely. is getting better and better because we know that there's been, um, you know, that we've been a little bit behind with, you know, what really happened, in my opinion, is what really happened. At first, if everybody will remember, whenever we did the RJOs, the first 30, it was just a $15,000 house. Well, then Randy opened up for people to be able to add on, do upgrades. Well, upgrades put things behind because it wasn't just, there was right. a lot of changes. Right. So there was a lot that happened with that. And you know, listen, everybody, we've only been in business going on our fifth year. The first True. two years, we're just building in the backyard. That's right. So mm -hmm. we've been two years manufacturing things, mm -hmm. and now we've just introduced this new model. And when you introduce a new model line, yes. there's a lot of things you're learning about. A lot. Not learning how to build them, but how to coordinate them that they're built efficiently. Mm -hmm. So when you all, when we allow customizations to be in the house, mm -hmm. I mean, you wouldn't believe the paperwork and the amount of man hours it takes to keep track. And we're still making mistakes. True. So to go over paperwork and ordering and the drawings and all that, it, it we're learning. Didn't you go over today with the guys in a meeting that you had? How many people it took to do get one house? Um... Before that trailer, okay? So let's say you buy a house from us. Before the trailer is even in our shop, right? Mm -hmm. Before the trailer hits the shop, it has went through 10 people. Yes. 10 people made that trailer happen, that home happen, to get to our shop just to build it. Mm -hmm. And then we got 23 people out there building homes. Mm -hmm. So you can see the amount of labor in man hours. I'm like, and we build them for fifteen thousand. I know. And then and then people complain about the price. I know. And you stop. <laughs> exactly. And our overhead is massive, and we under and we know that. But you know, we're 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 doing our best to try to get all this figured out. It's hard, everybody. It's very it's hard. And we got we need an inventory room. Yeah, yeah. Because we had inventory in containers and stacked up on the sides and boxes and underneath everything where we could find it. And it's like everyone's busy too. Yeah. It's not like that somebody has a job just 
it's willy-nilly. One person has 12 to 20 things that they do constantly all through the day. Yeah. We have a couple guys that work across the street it called Phoenix. Yes. And they mm -hmm. build uh, lids for jars, okay? That's all they do is lids. It's a 104-year-old company, mm -hmm. okay? When you go in, they can work 12-hour shifts, mm -hmm. and they run machines. And it's just check and go, you know, check and go. I don't know all the schematics about it. Right. When you work here, you're climbing ladders. You're pushing scaffolding. Yes. You're grabbing wood. You're mm -hmm. thinking, Not only are you physically grabbing, bending down 500 times a day, grabbing your nail gun. You got this. You got a 20, you got about a 10 or 15 pound weight on your hips. All that going on and climbing and walking. Mm -hmm. Then you're actually using your brain because you have to figure out this trim and how this is going to fit with that and make a decision. Problem solving all day. When you got eight hours in you, you're shot. Now, believe me, I've worked 10, 12, 14 hour days, but the production is just half mm -hmm. of what it was when you started out the day. Yeah. That's why I don't work guys Saturdays mm -hmm. or Sundays. They have to they go home. They got to rest. They have to go home and yeah. they get sick of this. They have to because you can't work 12 hour days. The last yeah. four hours you work half of what you did for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're not productive. So this is a really physical job and mentally taxing all this stuff had to have a decision where these bolts are, measuring over, how far down, all this stuff. These screw heads, they had to be caulked and filled and sanded. I mean, there sanded. wasn't, there wasn't a, an instruction book. Nothing. This was all created. From, from, <laughs> from boards laying right on the ground. From your brain. Yes. <laughs> Every bit of it. Everything you know? came from your brain. You know, Rob building these cabinets, he's got it down now. But man, these drawers... These and drawer slides, it has to have a certain amount of clearance and the drawer's got to be a certain size. And, and we're not a, a cabinet company. We're no. an everything company. Like, everything. So everything has a decision. Yes. Everything, everything has, you know, mental, God, stuff going on in here. That's why I am, I told the guys today, I was so proud of who they are and what they're doing for us. Oh, yeah. I can't build these homes these many homes without them, mm -hmm. you know? No. Oh. And why I'm taking on so much, I really don't know. I mean, it's just kind of just been growing and growing. And, and I thought, well, you know what? If we can get to a point, a leveling point, we can build eight or ten at a time. And we're good, mm -hmm. right? Now, you think about it, everybody. I'm just going to just put it out there right now. If we build an RJL and I can make $2,000 off an RJL, let's just say after paying my labor, my everything, let's say I can make 2000 Well, if I can build eight... In a week, right? Two times eight is sixteen thousand dollars a week. Mm -hmm. That's profit, right? Now it takes about eight grand a week, right, for our overhead. Yes. So the company makes about eight thousand dollars a week. Eight times four is thirty-two thousand dollars. The company could make in a month. Are we making that? No. no. <laughs> because no. our RJO is taking longer than five yes. days to build. The RJL, and then we've got customizations. We put a dormer on. You know, I have people say, well, hey, how come you're charging $3,500 for a dormer? Because it takes, takes. that kind of money. Yes. Um, painting these homes is, I hate painting. I'm throwing every paintbrush and roller I got away. Thank God. I don't want to paint. No. Because it takes so long to prep yes. and paint. You guys paint yourself, and anybody who has painted themselves regrets it. Or contracted out. You know, oh, everybody regrets it. They're like, yeah. It's, yeah it's so labors. all that all that stuff. And then if a guy stops and say, somebody calls, hey, can you just throw a shelf or a closet in? That guy, by the time we built the shelf or a closet, you say, how can we get a charge $500 for it? Yeah. Because it's going to take him a full day to do that. If I had him out on the floor, mm -hmm. he can frame an entire house in one day by the time he builds one closet. Yeah. Well, and too, and you add on top, and, and you know, of course, the um, tongue boxes and things like that. You yeah. know, it doesn't. It looks like they're simple. They're not. They tongue take boxes time. is fourteen hundred dollars, yes. and I had a guy spent three days on it. He could have completely framed in a house, put the roof on it, had it wired and plumbed, and ready for spray foam yeah. in three days. Yeah. And he builds one tongue box. I know. I okay. lose money. But on in tongue that, box. but in two, the other thing is that's factored in is that new people have to be trained if they're worth keeping. You have to invest in them time yeah. and things like that. If they're not, they're they gotta well, go. Well, and that's why we we invested in about ten or twelve people, mm -hmm. right? We went through a few, um, but they had to learn, and so mm -hmm. we're doing that learning curve, and we're learning, we're losing mm -hmm. money. You lose money, it's and just we're a hoping part of at it. the end that then they can produce it back. 
That's mm -hmm. why 2020 is a big year for us. It but is. I'm hoping the sales can continue to come in. Mm -hmm. So that's why we need you guys to spread the word that nobody in the country is building houses for 15 to 20, 30,000. Real quick uh, update on the community and update on finances. All right. I don't know anything about the financing. I mean, we didn't hurt anything. It's been the holidays, so I don't know really what's going on. We'll there. find out more next week. Yeah. Um, sorry. I'm just trying to get the sink in you. In the, uh, the community, they did not work today, but they worked right after that big rain we had over the did weekend. They? And I mean, they were there yesterday. The sewer is going. Mm -hmm. And as soon as the sewer is done on one lane, I think it was Jack Pine. Yes. Once that's done, we're putting, I've already talked to my uh, electric contractor. We're going to start digging for electricity. Woohoo! Yeah. So, so you got any kind of... Ah, you know, everybody I'd love before Christmas. There's no prediction. There, yeah. I, you can't. I doubt it'll be before Christmas. Mm -hmm. All right. I doubt that. So it's probably right after the first year. But I would say almost... God. I hate stepping out here predicting because I'm terrible about it. But I think for sure in January. Yeah. You we're know, unless we're we hoping. Get, unless we get massive rain and terrible snow. and Well, they can't stuff. work. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, if we can just keep working, we've got about six or eight weeks of work. I'm mm -hmm. hoping to get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. But that's where we're at with the community. Um, and I'll know more about my builder's license and the licensing and all that in December here next week or two. Yeah. About going on on the beach and starting it. Because I would love to have the beach done in spring. And two, I just want to mention also that Kelly, um, I hired her on, and she's been on for probably about two months now. She is calling, texting, or emailing, whatever your preference was, of every customer that we are building for. So if if you don't get an update every week, you should be. It's She gives me a whole list of everybody. Either Pam's talked to you, either... Kelly's talk to you, give you some type of an update, and just know that your build could be sooner than what they say because we give the girls the worst case scenario and we're moving, like we've moved out, I don't know how many houses in the past two weeks. Yeah, and we're getting faster. Going. We're getting faster. Like today, we yes. took almost almost everybody on this house to get it done and get it out of here. Yeah. We're just behind on some homes that we just got. And we know that, yeah. It's stressful. <laughs> it is stressful, but it's going to work itself out. And, yeah. But the girls will keep you updated. Please, we appreciate your patience and everything, but they're keeping you updated. The guys are working as fast as they can, so, uh, but it can't leave until it's right. So we're not going to let your house go unless it's correct. No. Because neither one of us can afford that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our video at the beginning. If you want to roll back and it shows you a little bit about designing a home, I try to do some high points on what it is to design Which a home. Really what you helps. need to think about mm -hmm. that. And we'll try to edit the film and maybe put it on a shorter video for y'all later on. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this 12 by 36. And I hope you had a great, great Thanksgiving. Yeah. This is the Friday after Thanksgiving. Um, it's Black Friday. Do they 